Morning lads, how you doing? Welcome to Baggy TV, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about this transfer window. The Ashraf Hakimi story, Erling Haaland story and the other bits and bobs that are currently uh, surrounding our club in regards to transfer rumours and transfer speculations. Uh, before I do, I want to give you guys a little bit of an explanation to where I've been over the past 10 days or so. Lads, I've been travelling and I've literally arrived in the UK a few um, a few days ago. So um, as a result, I've not really been uploading uh, during this period and I won't be uploading regularly for another 10 days or so. I'm still uh, isolating as, a, as required by the, uh, the UK government for people arriving in the UK. So um, I won't be uploading regularly, but I wanted to address this topic because there's been a lot of talk on social media about this topic, uh, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Uh, and elsewhere, this topic is very interesting. Is Chelsea losing the plot? Is Chelsea unable to attract players? Is Chelsea unable to bring in those targets that we wanted to bring in? As you all know, Ashraf Hakimi is... By the time you're watching this video, it might already been announced that Ashraf Hakimi is a Paris Saint-Germain player. So, we've missed out on that player. So, what's going on? Marina Gavaskaya, what is she doing? What is she up to? This is what I'm going to be talking about in today's video. This is what I'm going to be addressing in today's video. Before we do though, I'm going to ask you to do me a favour and that is to subscribe to Baggy TV, turn that bell notification button on, share this video and give it a like. I'd appreciate that. Now let's jump in. So we said Ashraf Hakimi is on his way to Paris Saint-Germain and it looks like Erling Haaland is on his way to Real Madrid per reporting yesterday. Now these are two targets that were apparently on the top of Chelsea's transfer list and it seems that Chelsea have missed the boat on both of them. Does that mean Chelsea is lacking? Does that mean Chelsea doesn't have the appeal that it had last season? Was Frank Lampard a key aspect or a key reason to why players were choosing Chelsea? And now that he's not here, no one wants to come. When you see that, it's not like that. And it's not like that at all. You see, last transfer window, Chelsea were bidding, were attracting, were transferring players in on the back of two windows that Chelsea didn't buy any players. One was a transfer ban. And the second was a January window where players were, were overpriced and Chelsea decided not to buy anyone. So the fact that Chelsea didn't buy any players for those two transfer windows, it meant that Chelsea were able to spend a lot of money in a window that was in the middle of the pandemic. In a window where a lot of clubs were unable to purchase any players, where a lot of clubs were unable to spend money. But Chelsea had the advantage of being able to do that. Chelsea did have money to spend and were able to spend that money while other clubs had to sit down and wait and see what happened. As a result, Chelsea was able to bid for players without anyone challenging them, without anyone increasing them in the prices, you know, outbidding them and interfering in those transfers because nobody was able to, nobody could afford to. And that is why Chelsea was able to attract so many players. And that is why Chelsea had a massive a massively successful transfer window last season. This season, on the other hand, is different. This season, there's a lot of clubs that are able to buy players. There's a lot of clubs that have money to spend. And a lot of clubs needing to improve on their last season's performances. Because they weren't able to refresh their squads, they now need to buy players. Some of those clubs are borrowing money. Some of those clubs are getting money from undisclosed sources because I don't know how Real Madrid is able to buy so many players when Real Madrid has a financial problem. Other clubs, other clubs are doing things that are a little bit, what's the word? Interesting. Barcelona have financial problems, but Barcelona have just signed two free strikers, Memphis Depay and Sergio Aguero. So they're still building their squad, but they're doing it in a different way. They don't, they're not spending money on players, they're spending money on maybe contracts and signing on fees and whatnot. They're trying to figure out a way where they can bolster their team in a different way. And that's what Chelsea will be doing. 
Chelsea will be doing the transfers in a way that suits Chelsea. Chelsea are not going to go crazy and try to outbid Paris Saint-Germain for a very good right wing back in Ashraf Hakimi and play this bidding game of 80 million, 70 million and whatnot for a player that is really not worth more than maybe 50, 60 million. Chelsea will not be drawn into that. And that is a good thing. Those of you who are upset because Chelsea will not be signing Ashraf Hakimi shouldn't be. Because now Chelsea is able to spend that money elsewhere. Now, I'm not going to say that Chelsea should use that money and go buy Adama Traore. I'm not advocating for a particular player of a particular player, but what I'm saying is Chelsea do have a strategy when it comes to transfers. Now, Erling Haaland's situation, Erling Haaland is a world-class striker. Erling Haaland is a young striker with a lot of potential and could be one of the best in the world, if not one of the best in the world as we speak right now. But Erling Haaland's situation is problematic. His club don't seem to want to sell him unless they are given a crazy amount of money, even though he has a release clause in a year. He seems to have his heart set on Real Madrid for whatever reason. Therefore, there are problems when it comes to those targets. They are not straightforward targets. The window is different than it was last year, lads. Do not try to, um, to compare last window to this window because the world has changed and the situation has changed a lot. Our targets are different this year. What we are looking for is different this year. I have full faith in Marina Gravaskaya and in the Chelsea board to go out there and get the best player for Chelsea at the right price. I know we've had mistakes in the past. I know we've had issues in the past. But I can tell you something. I don't see us being drawn into bidding wars over targets that are not valued at that price. So lads, bottom line, be confident. Be confident in your club. Be confident in your board. And I believe Chelsea will get a couple of big signings. We will. Just sit tight. Don't watch it. Transfer window literally just opened a few uh, a few days ago. We still got plenty of time. Now I know we want to get these players in as soon as possible to get them familiarised with the club uh, pre-season. But we'll have to wait, lads. We'll have to wait and not watch it. Anyway, uh, I'll be uploading more regularly in about a week or so once I'm settled down and once I have myself um, organised and if the audio has been bad on this recording I do apologise I don't have my mic I can't seem to find it it's in the luggage somewhere anyway take care yourself lads I'll see you all soon have a good one and peace out